So in this video here, we're going to talk about what universities don't teach you in the AI and machine learning field, because there's act like a very large gap when you go from university, once you graduate and get into the corporate world, get into your intern positions and also your junior positions, once you start to get your first job. We're going to cover a bunch of different aspects of it, what they don't teach you and also what you can do on your own. So the most important thing that universities are not teaching you is basically all the practical stuff, how you take your AI machine learning models and apply them into production, apply them on top of business use cases, because once you get into a job, once you get into a business, it's all about providing value, solving use cases, solving problems, and then also generating money. We can't just sit in our Jupyter notebook playing around with the data implementing our own custom models, layer by layer, trying out some different architectures, fine tuning some models, high parameters and so on. We can't spend months on it because let's say that you're making 120K per year as a machine learning and AI engineer. If you divide that on a monthly basis, it is basically $10,000. Companies, they're not going to spend tens of thousands of dollars on you just sitting there playing around with the models in a Jupyter notebook. We need to know how can we actually like go from the models into production and solving problems so we can generate money. Because at the end of the day, companies out there, they are there to provide value, help other people and companies and also make money. So this is a very large gap when you go from university into the corporate world, it's basically just the practical skills. In university, we learn all the math, all the theory and so on, but we don't learn how to actually like apply that on business use cases. And this is where people are lacking a ton and also why it takes so long to get into intern positions, junior positions and so on before you start to level up, get into more senior positions, get responsibility, start to get into the business side of it as well. And also just be able to work on the problems and projects that you want as well. Most people, they're following the traditional path. They're taking a university degree for five years. They're just grinding all the theory, trying to get the highest grades and so on. Then they get into the corporate world, start in some intern positions, junior positions and so on where they actually just have all the theoretical knowledge, they have no idea about how can we deploy AI models, how can we set up whole like retraining loops and so on, automate the whole pipeline, provide business value, how do you spot use cases where we can apply AI machine learning to, and this is where money is made and also where all the like the fun and nice projects are. So this is a very large gap that people are facing. They spend five years on that. They spend three to five years in junior positions or internships before they start to get more responsibility and into more senior positions where the fun starts. Inside my AI career program, I'm basically teaching you my whole path. So definitely check that out where we go over all the personal branding, how we can get more opportunities and so on, because we need to take our work. We need to provide value. We need to have practical projects, practical machine learning, AI projects and use cases, put them out there so we can be visible and also get credibility for the work that we have done. Because at the end of the day, like companies, they don't really care that much about your grades compared to having real world AI machine learning projects that you put out there and show it and you will get way more opportunities earlier on. So definitely check out the Air Career Program where I teach you my whole system because I was basically spending my bachelor just trying to grind, get good grades and so on, but it was not the case. I was not getting any good grades at all. I started to learn everything on YouTube myself, taking different courses and so on, starting leveling up. And once I got into the master degree, I pretty much knew everything beforehand. So my grades, they become way better. I got the best grades out there without spending any time on my university degree because I just knew everything from the things that I've looked up on YouTube, courses and so on beforehand. Throughout the whole process, I basically just documented everything and put my work out there through my YouTube, LinkedIn, GitHub and so on. So you guys can pretty much just follow my whole path and this is what I'm teaching inside my program. So if you want to learn more practical stuff and also what universities are not teaching you, Simple Learn is actually like a very good platform. It's an online learning platform. They're offering a wide array of boot camps and also like courses designed to empower individuals in their career journeys. So it's basically like a very cool platform. They have tons of courses in there, but their AI engineering program is very impressive. It's basically just a comprehensive 11 month online bootcamp that covers everything from the basics to advanced topics in machine learning and AI, but also with a focus on actually like practical use cases. You'll dive into machine learning, natural language processing, deep learning, and even cutting edge topics like generative AI with the nearest large language models. So what sets this program here apart? Like, first of all, 
it's created in collaboration with IBM, as you can see here. So you're getting industry aligned curriculum and also tools. So this is where all the practical stuff comes in and also the skills which are in demand out in the corporate world. And here in this program here, specifically from IBM. So you'll earn IBM certificates and you'll also get access to exclusive IBM masterclasses and hackathons. The learning experience is pretty much just top notch with live online classes led by industry experts, hands on projects and a capstone project to solidify your skills. You'll also have lifetime access to self paced learning content. So everything is available in there. But don't just like take my word for it like the program. It has excellent reviews. You can go in and check it out from the past students who have transformed their careers pretty much. Many have landed exciting new jobs or like receive significant salary increases after just completing this course. You can just go in, visit the Simply Learn website to explore the full curriculum, watch some sample lectures and also just see if this is the right fit for you. And the second problem with universities that they don't teach you is basically all the new stuff, all the new models, architectures, all the things happening in AI machine learning, they are not up to date. Like most of the teachers, professors and so on at the universities, like I've talked with a bunch out there, they're not really interested in teaching other people. They're just there for the research, writing emails and basically just having fun working on the projects that they want on their own. So it's not the best resources. I usually just say that what is the chance that the best teacher at the specific topic that you are interested in is at your university and it's very low. I'm not saying that all universities are bad. Like we have all the high ones, Stanford, MIT and all those universities, but let's just be real. Most of you guys out there, including myself, like we're not going to be at Stanford, MIT and so on getting master degrees in artificial intelligence. So we kind of like just need to figure out on our own. We need to stand out because if we just follow the exact same path as everyone else, like we're just going to limit the opportunities on our side. And this is really important. Universities, they don't teach you any of this. Like they're just teaching you a whole system, how we can follow a system and they will take five, eight, 10 years before you actually get into positions be able, like you need to grind 10 years just to get opportunities instead of actually like standing out, learning the relevant stuff that you can apply to business use cases so you can make more money, but also get more opportunities earlier on. So the teachers at my university, I was going to like a pretty, pretty average university. They had no idea, like it wasn't 2022 or something like that. Like the teachers teaching me machine learning and AI, they had no idea what the transform architecture was, the attention mechanism and so on. It came out five years ago and they have no idea about all the new research coming out, all the new models, all the new architectures and so on. So how do you expect to be the best out there? How do you expect to stay competitive and so on? If you're just following what you're learning at the universities. So the universities, they're not teaching you what's up to date or at least most universities are not. And I can tell you that because again, the teachers, they're not interested in teaching. Most of them are not up to date. They basically just treat it as a nine to five job. They go to it, they're not really interested in learning, staying up to date with the new technologies and so on. And even though I wish that all of us out there could just be like the best researchers at Meta, Google, Tesla, Amazon and those guys, like most companies, they don't have the resources to have researchers or like people sitting, just doing all the theoretical stuff, testing out different model architectures, working on fine tuning some high parameters and so on and just spending weeks, months and so on cleaning up data set, trying out some different pre processing methods and so on. Like the time to market for the product and businesses like the, it needs to be as fast as possible. Like companies they don't have time, they don't have resources. And at the end of the day, the only thing that they care about is both to provide value, but most importantly, to make money. So it will not be worth it for a company to hire you if you're not able to provide enough value. Take your AI and machine learning models, apply it to business use cases and act like generate money, set up automated pipelines, deploy models out there, know all the practical stuff because they don't care about your grades, how good you are at solving math problems and so on compared to if you know how to solve real world AI, computer vision, machine learning projects, and actually like putting it out there, being independent, being able to do that without needing too much help. It will just unlock so much more opportunities at the end of the day and also more money because at the end of the day, you need to be worth it for the company, both to hire you, but also to give you a good salary or even increase and raise your salary along the path. So if you don't want to just get stuck at a job, you really have to do something extraordinary. And in today's world, it doesn't really have to be that much. It's just 
put your work out there, build the credibility around you, build some personal branding and so on. And also just know the market, know how you can get into different job opportunities, networking, how you can negotiate, share your skills and so on, and basically just stand out. It could even just be when you're interviewing, like how do you act like just present yourself compared to, let's say that I'm in a job interview, someone is just sitting with their phone or the MacBook with the web camera. Just imagine the advantage that I have if I have this camera set up, my lighting, my microphone, everything. I call this the modern day suit. So just imagine the advantage I'll have in a job interview if I had this whole setup here to compare to someone else. So it's all the small details. All of them are just accumulating up. If you just know it, again, we can go back to if you don't have a map, like how do we expect to navigate in an environment if you don't have a map? It's the exact same thing as if you're driving in a new city or even in a new country. You have no idea about how you can get to a destination without a map. It works the exact same way in every aspect of life, investing, relationship, your work, interests, sports, hobbies, and so on. At the end of the day, it is way easier if we have a map. So I really encourage you guys to get out there, stand out, just try to stand out. It is very simple. I'm not saying it's easy to do, but it's very simple if you just have a map, stand out there because I couldn't imagine all the opportunities that I have now if I just go like two, three years back. One year ago, I could basically just go straight out of university get 10 different offers. I could choose between all the offers that I wanted to work with, the projects that I wanted to work with, and I could get into more senior positions just out of the box because I had the practical knowledge, I had the practical skills. How can I actually solve real world AI and machine learning projects? So it's way more important if you want to go in that direction. So I hope you have learned a ton throughout this video here, at least just something that universities are not teaching you. They're not teaching you this here because they have no idea behind it. Don't just follow the traditional system. Like if you do that, your opportunities, they will be so limited. Your salary, the project, your opportunities, everything will just be limited because the, the competition, it will be harder. Everyone is doing it and you don't really have to do that much. I hope this video here have helped you and also encouraged you, maybe opened up your eyes of some of the stuff here, which is act like true. There is a large gap from going from university into a corporate job. Because again, at the end of the day, they have two different purposes. Teaching your theory, providing business value and making money.